Hey, in this video, we're going to answer two seemingly non-related yet inseparable questions. What is Basic Attention Token and what is Brave Browser? Even though BAT is an abbreviation for Basic Attention Token and has nothing to do with Batman, it's still a very fascinating crypto concept that's well worth everyone's attention. I mean, I love this YouTube ad is a sentence that probably no one has ever said. And yes, BAT is very much related to a crypto project, the Brave Browser, that was built upon the idea that forcing people to watch ads is something that we as a society don't need. By delving deeper into the tokenomics and the ideas behind BAT and Brave Browser, you'll get a comprehensible view of what kind of a chain of events led certain people to transform their frustrations into actions and embark upon creating new, radical approaches to crypto and web browsing. Welcome to Crypto Finally Explained, the most crypto-friendly educational YouTube channel for actually learning crypto. Here, I finally explain crypto topics using simple animations, visual doodles, and real-life examples, so no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand it. In this video, we're going to answer such questions as what is Basic Attention Token and what is the Brave Browser? Then, we'll also get into the nitty-gritty of how does Basic Attention Token work and what is the Brave Browser used for? Let's get things explained. To understand what is Basic Attention Token and what is the Brave Browser, it's not enough to simply write down their definitions. It's important to understand what were the reasons behind their creation. To do so, let's go back in time. Back in 2016, Brennan Eich, the co-founder of Mozilla Firefox and the creator of JavaScript, teamed up with his colleague Brian Bondi, and the duo set out on a mission to revolutionize the way we interact with the internet. Fueled by the growing concerns of user privacy violations and intrusive online advertising, they founded Brave Software with a clear vision to create a browser that respects user privacy, blocks unwanted ads, and introduces a new way of rewarding content creators. As you can see, it all sounds so intuitive, so natural and organic. Yet, to embark on a mission like this, one had to be brave. Thus, the name of the browser was very fitting. Brave Browser emerged as a response to the growing demand for a safer, faster, and more user-focused browsing experience. Traditional browsers were plagued by invasive ads, tracking cookies, and slow loading times, leaving users frustrated and their data vulnerable. For those who understood the gravity of these issues, this was something they couldn't ignore. Therefore, the duo aimed to tackle these problems head-on by putting privacy and user control at the forefront. The Brave browser introduced a built-in ad blocker and tracker blocker as default features. This not only enhanced user privacy, but also significantly sped up web page loading times. Many remember the pure feeling of joy when they discover that ad blocker is actually a thing. Eich and Bondi realized that using it shouldn't feel like something almost illegal. Not to be terrorized by unwanted ads it was supposed to be the default setting for browsing the internet. But the true innovation is found in the Brave's approach to online advertising. And this is where the basic attention token, or BAT, comes in. Recognizing that the existing online advertising ecosystem was broken, where user attention was being commoditized without their consent, Brave introduced the basic attention token. This cryptocurrency was designed to begin a new chapter in digital advertising. It allowed users to agree to view privacy-respecting, non-intrusive ads and earn bad tokens in return. You can regard this as consenting to certain ads in your daily life. Ads that were created by advertisers that understand the need to respect people and their privacy. At the end of the day, according to experts, the average person sees between 4,000 and 10,000 ads in a single day. Such numbers are simply not normal and no one should pretend that it is. But the Brave Browser was created by thinking about both sides of the deal. Content creators and publishers also benefited from Brave's novel model. They could receive bad tokens as rewards for their content based on user attention, helping to establish a fair compensation system. So, to sum up, and to answer the question of what is Brave Browser, it's safe to say that it's an internet browser that was created to address the pressing issues of online privacy, slow loading times, and the unfairness of the online advertising industry. Understanding this allows us to answer the following question of what is the Brave Browser used for? And the answer to that is simple. It's used for the very same thing as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Safari, and any other internet browser of your choice. To browse the internet. And as of today, the Brave browser is still going strong. With almost 58 million monthly active users, Brave shows no signs of slowing down. If you're wondering what is Brave browser based on, you'll find out that it's built on open-source Chromium code by Google. This means that anyone can continue developing and improving it by using this code as their starting point. So, as you can see, it is truly something that you could almost call democratic. How else can you describe a project that's centered around us, the people, and not the profits of advertisers and data collectors? Okay, this is a theory. Theory that sounds very alluring. 
But if it's so simple and beneficial to everyone, why hasn't the Brave browser yet become the number one browser choice globally? Well, the answer to this question is that switching to it is not as intuitive as switching from Mozilla to Chrome. It's built on different principles and understanding them can be a burden. Other internet browsers don't have tokens that are essential to their effectiveness. Tokens like BAT. Basic Attention Token, or BAT, is a utility token that shapes and ensures the vitality of the Brave browser ecosystem. BAT was conceptualized to revolutionize the way digital advertising operates by providing a win-win solution for users, advertisers, and content creators. And to achieve this, BAT serves multiple pivotal roles within the ecosystem. First and foremost, it empowers users with a new level of control over their online experience. As I've mentioned before, BAT is the reward that incentivizes users to agree to get exposed to ethical ads. And by ethical, I mean privacy respecting. This contrasts with the intrusive ads found in traditional browsers, ensuring that user attention is valued and respected. I mean, you probably had to watch an ad before this video as well. And if you did, you most definitely didn't receive any reward for doing so. The game is different on the Brave browser. For advertisers, BAT introduces a paradigm shift. Advertisers can target users more effectively and efficiently as user interests and preferences are voluntarily shared. The key word here is voluntarily. As it's often said within the advertising world, ads serve the simple purpose of creating a demand for a certain product or service. Ads want to make you spend money on stuff you previously didn't even know existed. Brave wants this to stop. In addition, this means that advertisers can achieve better results with fewer resources, ultimately creating a more productive and respectful advertising environment. They would simply advertise their products to those who are interested in them. No more extra costs to get attention of those who don't care about your products and services. But the answer to questions like what is basic attention token used for doesn't end here. Content creators, such as YouTubers, bloggers, or simply websites, play a crucial role in the Brave browser's ecosystem. Bad tokens provide an alternative way for them to monetize their content. Users who appreciate and engage with their content can tip them directly with BAT, thereby incentivizing high-quality content creation. As you may be aware of, this whole idea of revolutionizing how content is monetized was explored by the team behind Odyssey as well. If you're interested, check out my channel. I've also covered that fascinating project as well. All right, back to answer the question of what is basic attention token. The underlying mechanism of BAT involves the Brave browser's integrated digital wallet. This is where the BAT tokens go for those users who decided to opt in to view the ads that agreed to be played according to the Brave browser's rules. This engagement is measured anonymously, ensuring user privacy. Users are rewarded based on the attention they give to ads, creating a more equitable relationship between users, advertisers, and content creators. But you can't really talk about a cryptocurrency without mentioning its tokenomics, now can you? So, as for BATS tokenomics, the coin's total supply is capped at 1.5 billion tokens. A portion of these tokens was initially reserved for a user growth pool, which is used to incentivize adoption. Now, as you can see, I didn't lie. Despite the name of the token, BAT, not having anything to do with Batman, it's still an interesting project that truly sounds like something that was created with humanity's needs as their priority. So, that was a theoretical framework that enabled the creation of the Brave browser and its intricate ecosystem. But how does it compare to the usual browsers, user experience-wise? Let's discuss that. One distinct aspect of Brave is its openness to integration with other default browsers within its framework. Users can even set up keyboard shortcuts for these integrated browsers, enhancing efficiency. This means you don't need to relearn absolutely everything that you know. But what about setting the whole thing up? Well, as it should be, it's pretty simple. How else can the creators expect an alternative browser to get popular? By utilizing the import feature, users can easily transfer their previous settings, user profiles, passwords, and bookmarks from their traditional browser with a single click. When it comes to performance, Brave outshines Chrome and Firefox, loading a remarkable three to six times faster in speed tests. Which is nice, of course, especially when you think about the fact that achieving these results were part of the idea behind Brave Browser's creation. Also, keeping in mind that Brave was created by the co-founder of Firefox shows that the team behind it were dedicated to outperforming their prior selves. When it comes to protecting user privacy, this browser doesn't hide their stats under a hood. Brave keeps you informed about the number of blocked ads and trackers and lets you customize your browser shield settings. And there's more to it. When it comes to VPNs, Brave has a built-in VPN, which is, of course, convenient and makes the whole ordeal even safer. Navigating Brave is user-friendly, especially for Chrome users due to its familiar interface. 
The main page is minimalist, with tabs displayed horizontally and a search bar underneath. And yes, the browser's aesthetics are customizable, which means that you can have those browser themes of your choice. Finally, let's address the process of participating in the Brave Rewards program. The program that, as mentioned before, incentivizes users to agree to view certain ads for a reward. Well, there's not much to be said about it, since it's really easy. To participate in it, users only need to click the red triangular icon, and voila! After doing so, you start earning tokens for viewing privacy-respecting ads. Having explained what is Basic Attention Token and what is the Brave Browser, as well as tackling other questions such as what is Brave Browser or BAT used for, we have arrived at the end of the video. As you can see, understanding the Brave Browser and the mechanisms that make it work is not only fascinating, it can really be beneficial as well. With their user base constantly growing, Brave may become your next default browser, especially once you get to know the reasons behind its inception. Have you ever used the Brave Browser? If yes, what's your take on it? Does it have any chances of becoming the world's number one internet browser? Share your experiences, ideas, and comments below. And if you found value in a video like this, be sure to press those like and subscribe buttons. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.